Recently, I started to ponder about the engineering manager role. Who exactly is an engineering manager and what do they do? What is the difference between the engineering manager, engineering lead, team lead, tech lead, functional lead, etc. Is there really any difference apart from the company they work for? Because it looks like the same job title can mean totally different thing in a different company. Hi, I'm Maria and this is the Edge of State of Mind. Welcome. And this time I decided to take up a challenge and find out what it means to be a leader in technology, an agile leader, of course. And for that, first, I am going to deconstruct the engineering manager role, whatever it means. And I will do that by talking to the people that actually do the job and are good at it. How do I know they're any good? Mm, I will apply my own judgment. So for the second anniversary of the Agile State of Mind channel, which is on June 15th, I am going to release the first episode of my videocast where I interview engineering managers. And the first interview will be with Luis Castro, who's a full stack developer and a tech lead at Cameo, a website that allows celebrities to send personalized video messages to their fans. And apart from that, Louise is also a co-host of a podcast, No Es Solo Código. You can find all the links in the description. And the first episode will premiere on June 15th at 5 p.m. CEST. In order to watch the YouTube premiere, go in the description below and you can find a link to the premiere already. And if you click notify me on YouTube, YouTube will take care of reminding you when the premiere is up. So go to the description below and click on the link and click on notify. You can watch the premiere on YouTube along with me. There will be a live chat where I will be thrilled to hear from you. So set yourself a reminder and let's watch the episode together. And then I will also publish the interview as a regular podcast, wherever podcasts can be found. But for now, let me take a step back and explain why exactly the role of engineering leader is creating chaos for me. And I assume it's not only for me. Okay, so we all know what a developer does, don't we? At least we can imagine. <laughs> and we can also imagine what a PO or Scrum Master does, which is pretty vague still, but at least they are described in the Scrum guide, right? So there's some guidance provided about the role. But any management role in tech seems like a bigger or smaller black hole, right? Are you actually managing people? Or are you managing the technology? Or maybe you're managing the expectations about the technology. In one company, an engineering manager would manage a team. And in the other one, an engineering manager would manage a team of team leads that manage the team. What's there to misunderstand? It's basically all up to what a company defines. <laughs> However, oftentimes the definition is not even there. So people just try to do their best with what they know. And recently, my friend who works in a startup told me that he asked a tech lead on a one on one what his job was. And the tech lead had difficulty replying to that question. By the way, what a terribly tricky question to ask, right? Who would ask that? Come on. So yeah, I decided I will be the one asking that all the time. And I will ask it to different engineering managers I know, and probably some that I don't know. And I would like to dig in and understand if we don't have an universal job description, can they at least share with us what they actually do and how they got to the role they are right now? So there's this. The role confusion. I have actually three things I would like to deconstruct about the engineering manager role. First one will be that, the role confusion. Who are you? What do you do? My second headache with the role of a specialty team manager, but what do I know? It can be an engineering manager, a team lead, or a team captain. I would say there are two schools there. There is the Scrum school and the rest of the world. Why I say that is because in Scrum, there is no hierarchy to the 
team. So the developers are all at the same level. They are all equal. The team is self-managing and the product owner and scrum master form part of that team. And back in the day, when I was working with this kind of scrum teams with no team lead, I would sometimes start to wonder why scrum founders never prescribe a role of a team lead that could solve so many problems, right? Wouldn't that make things easier? And now that over the past few years, I have been working with over 50 teams with a team manager, team lead, tech lead, whoever, I understand why Scrum is so strict on the no hierarchy matter. But at the same time, I also understand the company needs, the organizational need for this kind of role. So should I reveal my findings now or should I let you, dear viewers, form your own opinions based on the interviews I will have with all those different engineering managers? And I will go for the latter because I would like the people to speak for themselves and for you to form your own opinion. I will let you form your own opinions and not get biased by me. And I wonder how different the opinions of the people I will speak to will be. Will they be different? Will they be fairly similar? Let's find out. And there goes my second reason for these interviews, how to be a team leader that empowers the team. And last but not least, the third reason is how to prepare those emerging leaders for their new job, how to help the developers in their transition to a manager role and get some testimonials from my guests. And also, if it is the only way you can progress in your career, are there any other ways of getting a promotion apart from becoming a people manager? All in all, let's try to understand what it means to be an agile leader in technology. And let's take a close up on the day-to-day -day doings of engineering managers. So once again, stay tuned for the first episode on Wednesday 15th at 5 p.m. test. Go in the description below and you can find a link to the premiere already. Hope to see you there. And please use the comment section below if you have any questions that you would like to ask to engineering managers so I can get to ask them on your behalf. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.